Okay, so this is an update to this video, which you probably didn't see because YouTube kind of screwed me over. Uh, I'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, so that video was all about my issues with the powered up system from Lego, um, using touch controls on the phone, which just doesn't feel, it's just not something I'm ever gonna use. I, I'm just not a fan. And when using controllers, there's a considerable amount of lag and things like that. Um, while I haven't really solved the lag issue, I have solved the controller issue. Um, this is thanks to my friend Bammy, who reminded me that Brick Controller, the app, will accept a connection from a wired remote. And that's a huge deal for me. Um, the wired connection doesn't seem to solve any of the lag issues. I did do kind of a comparison between them with a PS4 controller, uh, either through Bluetooth or through a wired connection. It seems to work virtually identically. They're, you're not really uh, saving anything. But uh, you can have a more intuitive controller. This is the FlySky G7P. And what's special about this is it has a direct USB-C output. And it actually sends controller commands through the USB cable. So here's my buggy. Here's their controller. Let me get in frame here. Yeah, proportional control over the throttle and the steering it's a bit proportional you kind of have steps to it you know there's maybe you can see it's 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 not super great but this feels so much better already um, I feel like that's a huge thing um, you know I first started down this rabbit hole with the uh, this is a Dumbo RC controller which is one of my favorites it's, it's a budget controller but it has incredible range and it's very responsive very low latency and again if it's cheap uh, you know what what could be better um, this is a fly sky uh, adapter this would be used with their remotes for updating firmware things like that but it also does the game controller outputs the problem with this one is the calibration is way off base um, you know instead of like with the fly sky it goes negative one zero and one and then everything in between this one was more like negative 60 negative 20 and 15 or just wild numbers uh, I could not find any way to calibrate this uh, using a, an Android phone uh, I was able to do it on a PC no problem but that doesn't didn't solve my issues the issue I have now with the fly sky controller I'll go ahead and disconnect it here is that all of the extra buttons that it has, which is great that it has. You've got a button here. You've got a two direction button here. It's basically two different buttons. Uh, and then you've got an on off switch here. And then you've got an on off switch here. And where that would come into play, uh, I just picked this up. This was uh, my brother's. I told him when he bought it that, yeah, I'd probably buy it from him if, if he decided he didn't want to keep it anymore. Um, and the special sauce with this one is it has a locking differential. Um, it's basically the center and rear diff, I believe, that actually lock. Um, but that'd be the perfect opportunity to use the on and off button on the FlySky remote. So the problem I'm having is that these buttons use non-standard key codes. Um, so if you open up a controller test program, uh, you'll see that the buttons don't line up with what you would normally see from a standard gamepad. So uh, in the meantime, I have submitted a request to the uh, Brick Controller GitHub. Maybe one of the developers, I think there's three contributors there. Maybe somebody can help me out there. I did try to remap the buttons. Um, I went as far as purchasing an app, hoping that it was gonna work. And, you know, spent $5. <laughs> I was, I was upset about it because when you look at it, it's like, oh, this is a premium feature, Un, you know, pay to unlock it. And I'm like, okay. Then I paid to unlock it. And then it added a little more text after that and said, oh, you have to send an ABD, or is it ADB, ABD, whatever it is. You have to send a developer command from a PC to your phone, either every reboot, or you can do it once, but it's going to increase the latency of the, of the buttons. And I'm just, okay, I've gone far enough. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, requested a refund, got my money back for the app, because I, I felt that was disingenuous to add on those stipulations after you've paid for it. That's ridiculous. That's 
That's what so many of these app developers, that's their business model. <laughs> Doesn't do what you want, but uh, are you really gonna take the time to request a refund? So that's as far as I've got with the controller, but I, I am happy with, with this. This is really cool, especially if I can get those buttons working. I'd love to be able to have vehicles with two-speed transmissions or locking differentials, just like I have a uh, Traxxas TRX4 truck, and you've got independent rear and front differentials that you can lock independently, and then a two-speed transmission. Those things, that's what makes it fun to me, is all those extra little things you can do, or you can control your headlights. Uh, you know, there's there's just all kind of cool stuff that you could do. Um, and the Brick Controller app definitely supports connecting to multiple hubs. I was able to connect to two Technic hubs, a Move Hub, and a BooWiz 3.0 all at the same time, and it seemed to work just fine. So, I mean, the sky would be the limit of, of what you could build. Um, again, there's gonna be a little bit of lag. I guess there's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I definitely feel like I've made substantial progress towards where I'm wanting to be. And I'll go ahead and add this on. Normally this would be in a haul video. Um, since it's RC related, um, I bought a couple of these uh, servos um, on Amazon. They're cheap. I just wanted to try them out. So this could be used in an RC project. Um, this is what it looks like. And it's, I guess it's double sided. Yeah, it is double sided. And you've got these connection points that would uh, ideally, you know, collect, connect to Lego Technic. And then you have the standard three pin connector header for, uh, for a servo motor. So I probably will at some point try to do some RC projects that actually uses RC components. I've got a big bin of extra stuff over here, extra ESCs and receivers and things like that. So I, I could that would be all I need, um, an ESC connected to, directly to the Lego motor and uh, hope I don't burn it up. <laughs> uh, depends on what motor I use, I guess. Um, maybe I could get a couple extra Buiz motors uh, and, and make uh, my own connector that, that goes to that and then uh, use one of these guys for the, the steering. I am very thankful for all that is available in the Brick Controller program uh, the app. It's, it's awesome, I'm so glad that LEGO has such a huge community of people doing these these extra things. That's just the coolest thing to me. So that, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, I do appreci appreciate you guys watching. My last video, what happened, I had put Bluetooth lag in the title and I think it just got blasted out to like gamers instead of LEGO people. <laughs> uh, it had a 1.6, I think, percent uh, click-through rate, which is abysmal, worse than anything I've ever done before. Uh, it got 3,000 impressions immediately hardly any views, and I got one comment from a gaming channel. <laughs> so I guess I'll have to be careful how I uh, label this video. So thanks for watching. Uh, please, if you have anything to offer, if you have any ideas or uh, anything like that, just drop it in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and uh, remember to play well.